Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 3 of Altec 620. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with artboards and layers. And so just to give you an idea of what we're going to create, let me go ahead and open up this file. And as you can see here, I have a screenshot that has four artboards, artboard 1, artboard 2, artboard 3, artboard 4. These are a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, and they each have five vertical black rectangles on them. And the black rectangles, the top two artboards are 10 pixels, and the black lines for the other two artboards are 80 pixels wide. So this is what we are going to build in this tutorial. So let me go ahead and switch over to Affinity Designer. And you can see here I have the tutorial one file open. And so what I'm going to do is actually just do a save as. And I'll save this on my desktop and I'll just call this tutorial three. Okay, excellent. So the first thing that we are going to do is actually draw those black. They look like lines, but they're actually rectangles. So what I'm going to do is come over here and click on the rectangle tool. And I want to change the fill color of the rectangle tool. So I'm going to click here and let me come to swatches and grays and I'll just click on black like that. And I'll go ahead and just drag and drop and kind of resize so I'm creating a vertical black rectangle like that. Now that I've created this, what I want to do is actually resize it. And so with my move tool, I want to make sure this is selected and I'm going to come down here and notice to the transform panel. So I'm going to come down here to the transform panel and I want to set the width of this to be 10 pixels. So it's very narrow and I want the height of it to be 900. And just for precision, uh, for the X value, I'll set it to be an X value of 50. And very good. Now what I want to do is create four copies of this. Now that's really easy to do. What I can do is select it. And one way to create a copy is come up to edit and select copy. And now edit and then select paste. And if I look over here on my layer, it says artboard and notice that I have two rectangles. Now at the moment, they're right on top of each other. And so what I can do is drag one of these out just like that. So another way to copy and paste an object in Affinity Designer is to select it and use your keyboard shortcuts. So Command C or Control C on Windows and then Command V or Control V. And again, I've got another one. Now, another way to do this is to hit Command J, which is literally to just create a duplicate and I'll create another one with Command J or Control J if you're on Windows. So very good. Now take a look at what I have here. So I have my artboard and my artboard essentially has five layers. It has rectangle number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And what I can do is give these objects names. And so I actually want to come over here to the leftmost one. I'm going to select that and I am going to call this line one. And then the next one's here. I'm going to just double click inside there and rename all of these to be so they have distinct line names. Very good. And now I am just going to roughly move this about there and I'm going to send this one over here. Nothing precise here. Now what I want to do is make sure all of these are lined up properly. So I'm going to drag a box around all of them to select all five rectangles. And now what I want to do is come up to layer and alignment. And I'm going to make sure they're all aligned to the top. And then I'm going to also make sure that they are distributed horizontally, just like that. And now you could see Affinity Designer did a nice job of distributing those evenly across the artboard for me. Okay, excellent. So now I'm going to deselect those five lines. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to create another artboard. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to come over to this button right here, which is the artboard tool. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to simply click on insert artboard and let me zoom out a little bit and pan over and you can see here that Affinity Designer 
has created a new artboard for me. An artboard is, think of it as your canvas, and the reason designers like to use artboards is you can have lots of different canvases of the same size and shape to work with. And so you could imagine if you were designing a website and you wanted to show the interface in different states, for example, at the login state, and once the user logs in, you wanna show something different, you would use different artboards in the same document to design what each of those different states looks like. So artboards can be very handy. What I'm gonna do now is I want to copy the five lines that are in artboard number one, and I want to move them to artboard number two. So what I'm going to do is deselect by just clicking in the gray area here, and I am going to copy all five lines that are in artboard number one. And I can do that a lot of ways, but perhaps the most basic way is to click edit and copy. And now what I want to do is I'm going to come over and select artboard two, and now what I want to do is click edit and paste. I'm pasting those five lines into artboard two. Excellent. And beautifully, we can see here that we have our five lines and they're all children of artboard two. Excellent. And so now what I can do is actually collapse these artboards so I don't see all of their these, think of these as stacks that you can expand or collapse. And so I am going to actually click on Artboard 1 and I want to lock it. That way I actually can't select any of the objects in here anymore. But I'm actually going to create two more artboards now. And so I'm going to come back over to my Artboard tool. I'm going to click Insert Artboard and I'm going to click it again to create four artboards total. And what I want to do is actually select artboard three and I'm just going to drag it under here so that it lines up with artboard one and I'll drag artboard four over here so that it lines up with artboard two. This doesn't have to be super precise, very simple. Now what I'm going to do is copy the four or excuse me the five lines in artboard two, edit, copy, and now I'm going to come over to artboard three. I'm going to select that, make sure it has focus, and now I'm going to say edit paste. And voila, I have my five lines in here. Now I want to actually widen these lines. Remember we had set the width of these lines to be 10 pixels. They're actually rectangles, not lines. And so I want to increase the width. And so I am going to come down to the transform tool and I'm going to type in 80 pixels because that's the width I want for these second two artboards. Now I can do these one at a time, just like this. But a handy way, let me just go ahead and change this, but what if I want to change all of them at the same time? Well, a nice thing that we can do is select, I'm holding down shift now and clicking on each of these. So I've selected the three rectangles that haven't been changed in size. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on this tool right here, which is transform objects separately. And what that does is allows me to manipulate or transform each of those objects in the same way, but do it separately as opposed to treating them as a group. So now what I can do is come over to transform and I'll click on the width field and I'm going to enter in 80 pixels. And you can see, boom, that I have manipulated all three of those or transformed all three of them so that they are 80 pixels now. So now what I want to do is zoom in on this artboard a little bit. So with artboard three selected, I'm going to hit command plus and just zoom in on that just a little bit more. So it's a little bit easier to see. And now what I want to do is select all of these objects. Now, in order to do that, I have to turn off this trans, I have to turn off this transform object separately. And now what I can do is just drag a box around all five of these, select them, and all I'm gonna do is just distribute them horizontally so they're spaced out evenly, something like that. Okay, very easy. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is, you guessed it, I'm gonna copy those five lines, copy. I'm gonna select artboard four, and now I am going to paste those five lines into artboard four. Okay, excellent. Now let me collapse all of my artboards 
and I'm going to hit Command-0 just to center everything. That would be Control-0 on Windows. And now all I want to do is just rearrange my artboards so that they are in a logical order in this list over here. So in order to do that, I'm going to unlock Artboard 1, and I'm just going to drag it up to the top to reorder it. And then it looks like Artboard 3 should be above Artboards 2 and 3. Now. Be careful that you don't accidentally make one of these artboards a child of another artboard. See how I did that? I actually have artboard 4 now is a child of artboard 3. And that's actually not what I wanted to do. If that happens to you, no big deal. You can just grab the artboard and slide it out until you see that full green bar shown here. And when I release the mouse, boom, it's going to be back up at the top level. Okay. Excellent. That's all for tutorial three. That's a little bit about using artboards and working with layers and the rectangle tool. That's all the time we have for now. Thanks everyone. I'll see you in Canvas.